Shalom. I came from the Aquina. This is your Hebrews like brother Meshava here in the city of Detroit. We'd like to give our praise and all honor to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elect. We're doing it, uh, making this video on our footsteps are ordered by Yahweh, by Hashem Yahushan. Now, let's, uh, we're going to start this off in the book of Proverbs. Okay, we're going to Proverbs chapter 20. Proverbs chapter 20. Verse, uh, let's see what we got here. Verse 24. <clears throat> Start off with verse 24. Okay. And this is concerning our footsteps are ordered by who? Yahweh, by Shem Yahusha, ordered to him. Okay. By him. Okay. So this is, uh, Proverbs chapter 20, starting at verse 24. Man's goings are of the Lord. How can a man then understand his own way? How can a man understand his own way? Everything that you do is in one way or another ordered by either the right hand or or the left hand of the father, Yahweh. Okay? It is a snare to the man. You see? Verse 25. It is a snare to the man who devoureth that which is holy. Okay? That which is sacred. That which is separate. And after vows to make inquiry. Okay, <laughs> when here it is, one who ha have no choice but to come into the understanding that we do not have a free will to do whatever it is that we choose to do. We may think that we're doing our own free will, but in reality, no, we're not. We're only in alliance with doing with what the Lord has written for us to do. Neither a, a, a bird falls from the sky or the wind blows to carry the bird by his feathers across the sky unless the Lord himself has sanctioned, written it in for it to happen. Okay? That's just simply the bottom line. No matter how much you try to make like you're, you're doing everything, you're making this happen, you're making that happen, you're not making anything happen. You're just following suit. You're just following the status quo of what's been written for you to follow and obey. Okay. So, this is Proverbs chapter 16. Start off with verse 1. The preparation of the heart in man and the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. You see, whatever says coming out, out of a man's mouth is of the Lord. But the answer that you give is of the Lord. Your tongue is already spoken. We just living it out in the physical world. Your tongue is already spoken in the spiritual world. In this physical world, you may add live. But that too is already written in on the left hand side. Otherwise, it would not be whatever words that you say. Therefore, for each word that you speak, you must stand in account for to who? Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh When the day of the Lord you stand before the Almighty Father. 
verse 2. All the ways of a man are clean in his own eyes. Because man likes to place himself on a pedestal. Man likes to think of himself as more than what he is. But he's not. He has to come into understanding of what the Lord has set forth for him. For the Lord wants a relationship with man. Okay. But the Lord wears the spirits. That's the reason why you must always what, try the spirit of a man. See what is that, a, a man's diatribe. What, what, what is he talking about? What is he speaking about? What words are coming out of his mouth? Remember, it's not the words that, it, it's not what, what, what goes into a man's mouth that saves him. It's what comes out of a man's mouth that saves him. It's not what goes into a man's mouth that he is judged by. It is what comes out of a man's mouth that he is judged by. Remember that. Remember that. Verse 3. Commit thy works unto the Lord. Okay? Study. So that way you can learn the Lord. Okay? Study. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. Study the Lord. Okay? Study to show thyself approved to Yahweh. A workman need not be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. You're a workman because you're doing what? Studying. Studying is work. That's labor. Okay? Pushing the truth. That's labor. Getting out there speaking and going in the highways and the byways and the companies and going and in the hedges and the big hedges, little hedges. Pushing the truth. Pushing forth the name of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh. That's works. That's works. That's works that are done and should be done by what? Faith. Faith. And thy thoughts shall be established. Okay? When thy commit thyself to the Lord, thy thoughts will be established. That means you'll be center-minded. You'll be centered in your peace. Of the Lord being in his word. Last warning. This is the last chance for okay. all Americans under 65 so, to claim free health subsidy packages that's what the deal provided is on by that. the government for low income earners. These packages so cover essential it. services like dental, vision, hearing, prescriptions, women's services, and oh, more. Get this and could save here. you thousands of dollars. With 90. Now. Back to the word. Now, so his thoughts are centered when established, when he commits his, his thoughts and his works to the Lord. Okay. In faith. In faith. Verse 4. The Lord hath made all things for himself. Okay. For himself. All things are made for himself. Yea, even the wicked for the day of evil. For the time is coming. Jacob's trouble. The day of darkness, a day of the lawlessness is coming, the day of evil. And the Lord has saved, made the wicked, even the wicked for the day of evil. Okay, so those fools out there on two thirds, you see how they're doing, doing, doing evil, doing work? In doing evil, but well, guess what? There's a great reward for them for their work. It's called damnation, it's called judgment. They shall be judged. They shall be judged. Verse 5. Everyone that is proud in heart is an abomination to the Lord. Because you're not supposed to be proud in your heart. What are you proud in your heart for? What are you what, what have you done that is so great that the, that, the, that 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 overshadows what the Lord has done? Who are you is so great? Being in, in, in your vanity and that you feel yourself to be so much more above. You are an abomination. Okay. That is an abomination unto the Lord. Okay. okay. And so, and an understanding of that, okay, as such. Thoughts, though hand joined in hand, he shall be. He shall not be unpunished. 
He shall not be unpunished. Who, 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 who shall not be unpunished? The wicked one. Those who do evil. They shall not go unpunished. They shall be punished. Verse 6. By mercy and true iniquity is purged. And by the fear of the Lord. The fear of the Lord, men depart from evil. Okay, why? Because the fear, having, having the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Having this wisdom and knowledge gives you the proper understanding that the Lord shall keep you from the evil times. Romans chapter 3, verse 10. I shall keep you from the time, I shall keep you from, oh, uh, don't want to butcher it. Uh, uh, I shall keep you from the hour of temptation. For you have kept my word of patience. Okay, something to that effect, Salakia. Verse, verse 7. When a man's ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. Okay? The Lord does these things by what? Obeying the Lord. Thy footsteps are ordered to the Lord. There is no predestination. The Lord does these things for his children. Okay. Verse 8. Better is a little with righteousness than great avenues without right. You see? Because the end, the end result is, what is the balance? Proverbs chapter 11 verse 1. A false balance is an abomination unto the Lord, but a just weight is a delight unto the Lord. Okay. This is verse 9. A man's heart devises his way, but the Lord directeth, directeth his steps. It's the Lord that directs our steps. He is the one that orders our steps. Okay. To be what he chooses for it to be. We have to maintain being in order and properness with the Lord. That's what that is. Let me see. Proverbs 16, verse 25. Now we're going to go down here. Let's, let's go down here right quick to. Okay, look, look. Okay, look, look. Here's verse 11 right quick. Let's do. Let, let's do 10. This verse 10. A divine sentence is in the lips of the king. His mouth transgresses not in judgment because when he, that the king is upright in the Lord speaking proper in order his words remember our words are given to us by the Lord for, for, for what it is for us to say verse 11 a just weight and balance are the Lord's all the weights of the bag are his work see so no matter what you do what works you do is all predicated to the Lord. Whether on the right hand side or the left hand side, all that you do is predicated to the Lord. Okay? You are his just a, a bag of weight that he has balanced out. That he has set forth that should be proper weighted when the time comes, when the Lord gets here. He's going to properly weight every man out. Let's go down here to Verse 25, right quick, and we want to read, there is a way that seemeth right unto a man, but the end thereof are the ways of death. You see, that's the reason why we stay steadfast in the Lord and maintain our relationship with him. So that that way, we can maintain being proper in the Lord. Now, we're going to take this on over to hmm. That's so lucky, y'all. It's, it's not responding.
Okay, it's not responding. So. Now I'll try to bring it back up. So like it, y'all. Okay. Okay. So. Let's, uh, let's, uh. Now this is, this is Jeremiah. Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. O oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in himself, because it's not. Man's way is not in himself to do one way or another. We are all, all our paths are written one way or another, either to the right, to the right hand, or to the left hand. One way or another, either to the book of life, or to the book of death, one or the or, one or the other. It is not in man that worketh to direct his steps. You see? You see? Verse 24. O Lord, correct me, but with judgment, not in thine anger, least thou bring me to nothing. You see? We maintain our understanding of being focused in on Yahweh Hashem Yahushua. Okay, because that's who orders our footsteps. We don't order our footsteps. Yahweh Hashem Yahushua does. Our Almighty Father and Son orders our footsteps. Now we're taking this to. Uh, Job 33 and 15. And it reads, In a dream, in a vision of the night, when deep sleep falleth upon men in slumberings upon the bed, then he opened the ears of man and sealed their instructions. This is what the Lord does when, when we're in our, our sleep, as we are in our dream. That's why we have different types of dreams and different things that we have. Some dreams we, we remember, and some dreams we don't remember at all. You know. It's because the Lord has the angels to visit us in our dreams and to seal it instructions for us. See, so no matter what, our our footsteps are ordered to the Lord. We do not have free will. We are all predestined. One way or the other. And this is the order of the Lord. You see, this is the order of the Lord. We're going down here to Romans. Romans chapter, of course, you know it, Romans chapter 8. And we're going to start at verse 28. Okay. Okay, this is Romans chapter 8. Right? Romans chapter 8. Okay, it's acting a little stiff. We're trying to get down here to Romans chapter 20, Romans chapter 8, verse 28. 
is doing this because I'm trying to make you, you, you know how Satan try to mess with your, uh, your stuff while you're trying to uh, make a video. Are we getting down here though, to uh, verse 28. Bit by bit. <laughs> we getting there. Bit by bit. Maybe 24, 26. Okay. And. Ooh, 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 ooh. Now, this is verse 28. And we know that all things work together for good to them that loveth your house. Okay, we know this because your love for him is in obeying his laws, that and commandments to the best of your ability. That's how you show the Father that you love him. John, John chapter 5 verse 3. For this is the love of Yahweh that you obey and keep his commandments and that his commandments are not good. They're not hard at all. They're not good at all. To them who are the call. Remember, Matthew chapter 22 verse 15. Many are called, but only few are chosen. Okay. According to his purpose. You see? Purpose. Purpose. That means Yahweh has given us a guideline, a reason. Established us in a purpose. No man has a free will to do his own thing. For each one of us has a purpose. Verse 29. For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate. You see? For him he did know, he predestinate. Those of us who have been chosen, Jeremiah chapter 1, verse 5, predestined to be conformed to the image of his son, which is the first spirit created, which which was and is Yahweh, uh, Yahweh Shai, Yahweh Shai, being the first spirit uh, created, Sakya, and him being the first fruit, and us being fruit thereof after, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren. You see, among many brethren. Yahweh Shai, Yahweh created Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai created us. Verse 30. Moreover, whom he did predestinate, them he also called. You see? He also called. You see? That's the reason why we, what? 2 Peter chapter 1, verse 10. We do the due diligence to show that the calling of our election is assured. Okay. And whom he called, them he also justified. You see? Justified us. Okay. We're just, we've been justified, sanctified, to be a judge and prophet over the people, the nations, and the kings. Jeremiah chapter 1. Verse 5. And whom he justified, them he also glorified. Remember John chapter 17, verse 9. You know, we he he prayed not for, for the whole world, he prayed only for them. Who is them? Us. Those who have been called, those who have been justified, those who have been sanctified. Those who have been chosen. Okay. Justified. Them he also glorified. Okay. Because he glorified us. We glorify who? Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai glorify us. And Yahweh glorify all of us. Okay. Whom he has chosen. Okay. Verse 31. What shall we then say to these things? If God, if Yahweh, be for us, 
who can be against us? You see, no one, no one can be against us because it's the Almighty Father who is for us. He fights for us. He fights to stand up for his children. We are his children, his chosen, his elect. Men, women, and children. Okay? Verse 32. He that spareth not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? Because he gave us his son, whom is Yahweh Shai. And through Yahweh Shai, we have it all. We have the kingdom. For we are inside of Yahweh Shai, and Yahweh Shai is inside of us. That's why John chapter 10, verse 27, we are his sheep. We hear him. We know his voice. He, he calls us. We follow him because he know us. And we know him. Okay? Freely give us all things. Verse, verse 33. Who shall lay anything to the charge of Yahweh's elect? Who? Who can lay charge against us? What man can judge us? For we are here doing the work. Faith without works is dead. Works without faith is dead. You show me your faith, and I show you my works by my faith. I show you my faith by my works. It is Yahweh that justifies. You know what I'm saying? It is Yahweh. It is always up to him who makes that final decision one way or the other. Verse, 20, verse 34. Who is he that condemns? Huh? Is it? Is it Yahweh Shai that died? Yea, rather, that is risen again? Who is even at the right hand of Yahweh? Who also maketh intercession for us? Okay? Who maketh intercession for us? It's Yahweh Shai. Remember John chapter 17, verse 9. I pray for them. I pray not for the whole world. Remember that. So all that John 3, 16, you know, God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son. Remember, that word world, you look that up inside the Greek, and, and you look that up in the Hebrew. That word is cosmos. It's not talking about the whole world. It's only talking about the world of Israel. Those of us that were there with Moses. Take that John 3.14, 3.15, and 3.16 together. Go back to my video, Moses and the two-thirds in the wilderness. And you'll see what I'm talking about. Verse 35. Who shall separate us from the love of Yahweh Shai? And shall, and shall tribulation or distress or persecution or famine or nakedness or peril or sword? No, we shall not be separated from, from Yahweh Shai. For remember, we are ambassadors of the kingdom of heaven. He's using us to bring forth a sword with this word proceeding from our mouths. That's the reason why Yahweh proceeds in our mouths what it is, the words for us to say. That is the reason why we prophesy of Yahweh Shai and not of ourselves. Verse 36. As it is written, for thy sake, we are killed all the day long. And we are. All day long, we are we go through all different types of things that, that try to exterminate, exterminate us either by trying to kill our spirit or try to kill us physically. One way or another, try to bring down our hopes, aspirations, and motivations, and, in, and inspirations all the day long. And the demons are always working on us, trying to kill us all the day long. 
one way or another, either spiritually, emotionally, physically, mentally, you know. This was always going on. But we stay what centered. We read we, we read that in Proverbs. Keep your mind centered in the Lord every day. That way you're able to fight against the demons and the foul spirits that try to come upon us, that try to kill us all the day long. We are accounted as sheep for the slaughter. You understand? Every day. Verse 37. Nay, in all these things we are more than conquerors. Because look at what we go through each day. And Revelation chapter 21, verse 7. He who overcometh inherit all things. I will be his power. He will be my son. You understand? This is of the Lord. This is of the Lord. And so, that's the reason why we are conquered. And through him, and that loveth us. That's your Yahweh. God is in Yahweh's Verse 38. For I am persuaded. I remember you saying, I won't forget the light jacket. Don't talk like that. You yeah. apparently. Can we just, can we watch the replay? I would love it. This What Really Happened replay is brought Okay, now I'll take this back in here. Oops. There we go. Now, for I am, this verse 38, for I am persuaded that neither death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come. You see? You see? Verse 39. Verse 39. Nor height, nor death, nor any other creature shall be able to separate us from the love of Yahweh. You see? Which is in Yahweh Shai, our Lord. And we're going to go ahead and end the video off there. We thank you ever so much for watching. Hopefully, spirit willing, you were edified and that you received some spiritual edification, some spiritual meat. Okay. Uh, we'd like to give all praises and all honors to Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah, Ba'ashim Rekakadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders of the great millstone. Peace and salutations to the hopeful elects. And also, the music is by Sophia, Sophia Kibreskaya, Sophia Kibreskaya, soloist of the harp. Okay. And so, until we until we meet again, Shalom. to the hopeful legs.